Hello, everyone. This is Melanie Gates with a tech tip on how to access professional development points in TeachPoint. Once you're logged into TeachPoint, you want to navigate to the graduation cap or mortar board, which is our PD tracking section in TeachPoint. When you click on that side tab, it brings you into the professional development area where you have multiple tabs at the top. My activities are the activities that you have signed up for um, and have um, completed or are in progress of completing. You can determine the status of your event by looking at that status column. Anywhere where the event is listed as approved, it means that the professional development points have been issued. If it is pending, it could be pending for multiple reasons. One of which could be that not all of the events are complete. In this case, this event had three time slots and it is marked as complete. So the reason that this event is pending is because feedback is needed. In order to have access to your professional development points, you need to complete the feedback form, which is a simple process. Click on the event that was pending, such as what I did here. It expands the window and you then will have access to the green add feedback button. Simply click on that and it will bring you to our professional development feedback form. The required section of this form are the Likert scale questions here at the top. So for example, the first one, this session increased my professional knowledge. I would evaluate that on this Likert scale from strongly agree to strongly disagree. And you also have the option of not applicable. These Likert scale questions are, are required. So you will need to complete that section. The open response questions below are optional, but please know that this feedback does help us enhance the professional development that is provided and also gives us an opportunity to provide feedback to our facilitators. So any comments that you have here are welcomed. You can either submit your feedback immediately when you've completed, completed it, or you can save it as a draft and come back to it later. We're just going to click Submit Feedback and see what happens. That particular PD event that was initially marked as pending has now been approved. You'll now notice that there is a green View Certificate button that is here. I can click on View Certificate and have access to the Professional Development Certificate. I can Use this down arrow here to download the certificate. I can click on the printer icon to print the certificate directly, but there's really no need to do that because these certificates are housed here in TeachPoint. So for any event that feedback is needed in order to issue PDPs, you do need to do that add feedback option. Now, if you wanna take a look at what all of your professional development um, points are so far, you can click on the transcript button. Here you get options to include events only where credit is has been earned or all of your events. You can choose what format you also want these in and then additionally what information you would like included. If it's the event details, your, the attendance comments or to include your certificates. Um, whatever options you choose, you can then select Generate, which will generate for you your transcript. So similar to a college transcript, it's going to give you an overall listing of what PD you've taken part in and the total PDPs that have been issued. I had selected that I wanted PDFs and that I did want my certificates. So this allows for all of the certificates to be uh, created in this one PDF file. Those are the tips that I have about accessing professional development points in TeachPoint.